Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. This feels right. This right here, it just, it feels right. I originally, I don't know why I'm going on this tangent right now, but I was originally like sitting down um, in my regular spot where I film. Although I have chairs and a bed here, it just felt right to be sitting on the ground for this video because as you can already tell, this is going to be a rant about my week. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel like I've had bad weeks in the past, but I haven't had like a really bad week where like just something happens every day and it just like kicks you to the ground, you know? So I felt like it was kind of fitting to be like on the floor. Just so you know, if life wants to kick me one more time or a few more times, it has its fair shot. I'm here already, so just kick me while I'm down. <laughs> so I don't know if any of you guys noticed, but I didn't post last week and that was because I was just having... <laughs> a really bad week okay just a lot of things were happening and i just wasn't feeling like creatively inspired and i didn't want to just like post anything something that i wasn't like fully in love with it was just easier to just not post and let me tell you it didn't feel good <laughs> so welcome to my first official rant on my channel i've been wanting to do one of these for so long but i just never had something recently that happened that i just really wanted to like rant about but like this week has just been like some like I was saying earlier something happened almost every single day and it just kind of got to me and like I wasn't I was just not in a good place I was feeling like really really like just like in a funk so I wrote everything that happened down on my phone and I literally organized it from like when it happened during the week so I have Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday listed down and let's just get into it let's just get into it so monday wow this one monday really just started off the week strong by just really stabbing me in the back um getting a few punches in in my stomach making me lose my breath my horrible week started off when i was at the store i was browsing through the shirts um like the clothing aisle and i was looking through the shirts and i was just like you know doing my thing in my zone and then <laughs> oh my god it's just, I don't even know how to tell this story you guys because like I like I oof, I've been saving this whole ass this whole ass fucking story for you guys and it's like something that takes just like so much more time to dive into than I have right now I don't have the time right now and I also just want to make it its own thing. But pretty much, I was just browsing, looking for clothes. And then someone comes up to me from behind. So they didn't see me. Obviously, they didn't see my face. They ask me, do I work here? And so, like, I turn around, like, who is this dumbass? Like, like I don't need... <sighs> Like, I didn't even, I was dressed, like, in clothes, like, normal clothes, you know? Like, I wasn't dressed like someone that worked there. So, like, stupid ass, first of all. Anyway, <laughs> but I turn around, and it's this person that is just, I have, like, a, wow, like, I don't even know what to say. So, I look up to see who is asking me this question, and it happens to be someone that was in my life for an extensive amount of time that I had like no control over them being in my life. They were just the most toxic person in the whole world, in the whole fucking world that I have ever met, dealt with, had to deal with. Like I'm already crying. Like this, this wasn't like bad. Like this experience, it did make me upset to see this person, but it didn't like, you know, make me cry or nothing. But like just thinking about all the things I have to tell you is just like, it's just replaying in my head. Anyway, um, so I, the thing is, it's just like out of all people, like out of all people in that store, this person finds me and asks me if I work there. And it's like, what are the odds of that? He could have literally walked up to anyone in that store, but he walked up to me. And it's like, I don't know. I'm someone who like takes things like as signs. I've been wanting to make like its own video about like everything that happened with this person and this time in my life. And it's just, it's, I've just, I don't know. I've been putting it off to be quite honest with you. I've just been putting it off because like, I just don't want to like put myself back in that mindset. But I feel like 
it was a sign like just film the video already just put it out just create it just like get it out in the world and then just that's it like make your peace with it and this person is literally the biggest coward in the whole world so as soon as i saw him we made eye contact and i made sure that he knew that it was me and we i was just staring at him like this like in my mind i was like really dude like like really like out of everyone like what are the odds what are the odds anyway so i was staring at him and i was like and I kind of, I don't know if I laughed, like, I don't know, it's just, like, in the moment, I just felt like I, like, blacked out, because, like, kind of got a little, a little angry, and I think I just, like, laughed a little bit, and then I said no, like, just so he knows, like, well, obviously he knew that I didn't fucking work there, but I don't know, so I just said no, and then I walked away, and then um, I go to, like, this other side of the store, but I could still see him, and, like, the exit, the doors to exit the store were, like, right in front of where I was. I just see him like immediately walk out and I'm just like oh my god oh my god like you're such a bitch you're such a bitch <laughs> come fight me oh okay so <laughs> so that was that right and I was shopping before I had a class that day so I finished shopping I bought some really cute shorts and two cute shirts um should I do a haul <laughs> let me just bust them out really quick this is it <laughs> but yeah, so I finished shopping and I did get some clothes. So like that was that I tried to make like the best of the situation for myself, calm myself down, just like carry on with my day. <laughs> Little did she know. <laughs> Little did she know. <laughs> Miss Universe over here did not did not come to play this week. <laughs> she really didn't. So I went to class and I had class for like a good four hours that day, I think something like that either four or six hours. I don't know. It was a blur. <laughs> I went to class and then I am walking out of campus going to my car and I go to my car and I see like this little like yellow note. Give me one second. Hold on. Just give me one second. So I see this like little yellow note on my car. What is this? <laughs> Who left me a little note? You know, like, like I thought it was just like, um, like, you know how people leave things like on your car windshield sometimes like an ad or a coupon or like whatever. So I just thought like, okay, like maybe it's, you know, that because I have my parking permit for the school. Like I'm not parking there against like the rules or whatever. So I was like, I'm fine. This is fine. I grab the yellow paper off the windshield, step into the vehicle and I read parking violation. <laughs> Mm, yeah okay so then let me just give you a visual since it's right here I open it up I take out the little receipt and I read it and it says photos taken and complete car check mm -hmm. uh, parking citation <laughs> and I read it and they have like all my info I'm like there must be some mistake because you see right here I have the parking permit sticker on my car I realize my eyes just like open up really quick and I realize excuse me stop being rude <laughs> and I realize that I have the parking permit for winter quarter and it is now spring quarter so I was parking there illegally and I got a ticket for $54 and so my day just got worse you know I was really really upset and that day I bought my parking permit when I got home. So I'm covered, but once again, <laughs> more money down the drain. More money that's going to my school, which doesn't need more money, but just takes my money anyway. So that was Monday. It already just hit me with like one of the worst things, two of the worst things that could happen actually just like triggering me. Um, but on Tuesday, <laughs> Tuesday, ooh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're going to get a kick out of this one. Okay, so <laughs> on Tuesday, I think I went to class. And then after class, I went to Walmart to go pick up a few things that we needed. I think we needed like toilet paper and like stuff like that. So I get all my shopping done and I head over to the checkout and I'm checking out my stuff, you know, the usual. And that night, my boyfriend and I were going to go to the movies. So I wanted to have like cash on hand. I don't know for what reason I like never do this, but I just something possessed me to like get cash back. So I was like, okay, like, you know, whatever. It'll be nice to have some cash on hand if anything happens. Like, for whatever reason so 
I got $20 cash back along with the purchase that I made. And, um, sorry, there's like something in my eye. <laughs> there's like shit in my eye. <laughs> um, what was I saying? So I got $20 cash back and I proceed to like put my like groceries in my bag or whatever. And I'm, and I'm going to leave and I leave. I, <laughs> I just leave. That's it. I just leave. And I leave without the money. I leave without the $20 cash back. So like I just gave someone a free $20. How I was like reasoning with myself, like it's okay, don't get so mad. Maybe that person needed it, you know? And that's what I'm like telling myself, like you did good, you did good. Like what if they were really struggling and they needed it? So like I'm just, I'm hoping that that's the case, but <laughs> I don't know, I don't fucking know. So then later that night I go to the theater and everything's good, everything's fine. I love going to the movies. Like every time I'm in a bad mood and like I have tickets to the theaters, in my head I'm always just like, oh, I wanna just stay home, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go. But like I still force myself to go because like I got I got the tickets, you know, like what the hell are you doing? So I always go to the theater and it always makes me feel better. Like it just makes me feel good. And I had realized just before leaving that I had left those $20 um, at Walmart. So I was like, oh, I'm kind of mad at myself, but I still went. So my thing at the movies is popcorn and jalapenos. Like, oh my god so good my routine is i usually get the popcorn i pay for it and while i'm paying for it i tell andrew to go get the jalapenos so he's going and i pay for it and he comes back and he doesn't have jalapenos and i'm like did you <laughs> did they run out like what's what's going on like why don't they have any? why don't you have any and he's like oh they're not there anymore the jalapenos aren't there <laughs> So I go back to the front, like where the cash register's at. And on the cash register, there's like a little sign. There's just like a little like notice that says that they're now charging for jalapenos. <laughs> you guys charge for every fucking thing. They charge so much for things at the movies. And then they have the audacity to charge for jalapenos like what like what are they gonna start doing like charging for condiments now <sighs> so like i was really upset because i love that combo so much so i was thinking to just like get it i was like whatever like how much could it be you know but then i thought about it and i was like it's probably like five dollars for like a little container like this like that is not worth it absolutely not like <laughs> i will buy overpriced popcorn but i will not buy jalapenos from them no 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 so that wasn't a big deal it didn't like really upset me or like shake me or anything but i was just so shocked i was like you guys are really charging for jalapenos like you freaking thieves you scammers anyway um so i guess i have to find a new snack for the the movies now or i could just literally I, <laughs> the next day i bought like a jar of jalapenos so i don't know sis maybe i'll <laughs> Maybe I'll be sneaking in my jalapenos and just like eating it like that. Okay, for Wednesday, this isn't a big deal or anything. And I just thought that I would throw it in there. But I ordered the set of three pairs of biker shorts. And they were really cute. And it was like really cheap, like $21 or something like that. So when they came, um, I tried them on, obviously. And they fit and everything. But uh, they gave me a huge camel toe. <laughs> and I was like, uh, no. No, we're not doing that. I had to take them back. I returned them. But good thing is I got those like $23 back. So I guess it worked out in the end. But yeah. So now Thursday rolls around and it has just really been a bad week. You may think that some of these things like aren't that bad. But like keep in mind on top of all of this, I was just feeling so down, like so bad. And on top of that, on Wednesday, I didn't mention, um, I didn't post. So like I had already been feeling like bad, like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I was, was feeling like so, ugh, just like not good, just not good because I didn't post. I wasn't feeling happy. I was feeling very creatively uninspired. I just didn't feel motivated at, at all. I didn't have any ideas that really like sparked joy and made me want to post. So I was just feeling bad the whole week and Thursday rolls around. <laughs> See, this one's kind of a funny story too. So I'm at Starbucks in the drive-thru line. I pull up to the window because it's my turn to get my coffee. 
and I scan my phone, get my rewards, get my coffee paid for and everything. The barista is giving me my drink, he's handing it to me and he just, he just coughs. He just coughs. You know how sometimes like you just cough like out of nowhere, like you can't help it, like you couldn't really hold it in, but I could tell he tried to hold it in, but um, he didn't. <laughs> and he was like, <coughs> like, and some spit, some spit got like right here. And I was like, oh. and he was obviously apologizing to me. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't think he knew that like some spit got right here. I'm a very nice person patient person but like when you if you spit on me like that has never happened to me before but like this man spit on me I just grabbed my drink and I was like it's okay I just didn't even look and I was like it's okay and I just like put my car in drive and I just drove off and that whole time I was drinking that coffee by the way it didn't even taste good every single time I took a sip of that coffee I could just feel a spit right here it was just so ugh just disgusting like when does that ever happen it's like the things that happened to me this week it's like what are the odds of these things happening to me like this doesn't happen very often to someone like no one gets spit on in the drive-thru and keep in mind like the windows right here like he is right here the windows here but he is right here and my car is right here so like I mean really <laughs> like really the spit could have like landed on my shirt it could have landed on my shoulder could have landed on the car but no it landed right here on my chin so friday nothing really happened that was like extremely bad but i guess if i want to put this out there um carla and i did try to film a video on friday and it just it just didn't turn out how i expected it <laughs> we were just acting really stupid so that failed which isn't like a bad thing because we still had a fun time together youtube wise like it kind of sucked because like i really wanted to post that video so that happened on friday it wasn't a big deal but saturday rolls around and i am at a party like not even a party like a little get together and i'm leaving going to my car and i accidentally dropped my keys and i dropped my keys so often and nothing happens so i just you know picked up my keys the key itself to my car popped open. So now I'm 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 stuck with this. I <laughs> So this thing right here apparently pops open. And I've been trying to get it to like pop open, but it won't. So I don't know if I just have to like drop it again, but I don't really feel like doing that. <laughs> the little buttons fell off. I have the buttons right here on my counter, but I just don't know how to open this. <laughs> without dropping it again. This is what I'm dealing with right now and it's really hard to like get in there and um, open my car. <laughs> really, it was just a lot of bad things that happened one after another. And on top of already not feeling the best, um, it just really took me down a little bit. So much was going on last week and this week and just like school is like really piling on me. <laughs> so I don't know, I don't know what's going on but i don't like it i think someone like put like a hex on me or something <laughs> please um if it was you please take it off i'm feeling a lot better now um i'm feeling a little bit more creatively inspired which is why i'm here today because i truly didn't know what to post but then i just felt like this video would be really relatable because everyone goes through bad days bad weeks bad years people have bad years so i just feel like <laughs> This would be a really relatable video and I feel like it could make you guys laugh if you guys are having a bad week or something So hopefully you're not. I really hope that you're having a good week. But yeah, um That's my video for this week. Feel free to leave me suggestions down below of what you guys want to see in the future because uh, <laughs> Your girl's still a little struggling in the video idea department, but please let me know what you want to see So give this video a big thumbs up because I need to feel the love show me the love this week I need to feel it. Just give me all the love. Give me all the love. Give me all the love <laughs> As always, I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one Bye